guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome thank you for stopping by to check out my video for the February boxy charm that is what I'm opening today my February box and I actually just got it in the mail today super excited so I want to go ahead and show you guys what I got now I have seen a few spoilers a few kind of hints as far as what's going to be in my box so I think I have a decent idea of what's in here but you know you never know <laughs> so anyway let's go ahead and get started now I do have a tracking for my box I'm not sure the dimensions how much it weighs I know some people are um, looking or care about that just to kind of guess and see what they're gonna get but on my card which the card for this month it says afterglow so that's the theme for this month afterglow and I do have a one and a heart so I guess I have version one for my box so let's go ahead and jump in I want to do this quick and easy and show you guys what I got I actually would have done like a semi try on although there's no eyeshadow palette this month but I would have done a semi try on if I didn't already have makeup on but let's just dive in and see what I got this month so the first item is something that I knew was going to be in here of course it is the Too Faced better than sex mascara now this mascara is loved by many many people one of which I am not <laughs> I don't know for some reason when I tried this mascara for the first time it just was not it didn't work that great for me so I don't know but I know a lot of people love this now this retails for $24 it says indulge in a mascara that actually lives up to it lives up to its name Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara separates coats and curls each lash to voluptuous perfection. Acacia Senegal Tree Extract sets a volume while firm forming polymers lock to your lashes in a perfect curl. So, you know, people swear by this stuff and I really, really want to give it another try. I tried it out before when I got it free, I think in a boxy charm or one of my boxes I tried it out before and wasn't that impressed so I'm looking forward to actually trying it again because I am on the hunt for a great mascara so maybe it's something that I just didn't really like the first time but maybe this time it'll knock my socks off so <laughs> I'm willing to try it again okay so next I have here what looks like some type of eye pencil and let me just go ahead and read what this is this is what it looks like though it says nude sticks magnetic luminous eye color a super long wearing eyeshadow pencil that's soft super gliding and easy to blend the nude sticks magnetic luminous eye color is the ultimate multitasker to achieve intense color precise lining and primes eyelids for all day waterproof wear to ensure your nude glam lasts so I guess that's why they're calling it magnetic is that it's supposed to be ensure a really long lasting waterproof eyewear retails for $24 and it looks like this is like a gold type shade it says copper foil on here so you can see what the color is there very pretty now I just got one of these kind of like I eyelid pencils in my last subscription box I think it was my allure and I kind of just threw it in my giveaway box because I'm not really into these so this might go in my giveaway box as well not sure yet I'm thinking about trying it but most likely I'll end up giving it away okay next let's pull out this pretty vulgar bronzer look at that pretty packaging you guys isn't it gorgeous it's so pretty so this is the pretty vulgar bronzed bee bronzer this vegan matte bronzing powder gives your skin a natural radiant looking finish enriched with ultra smooth oil free lightweight pigment this bronzer allows for easy blending and perfect coverage retails for $32 and I know that this uh, pretty vulgar is a pretty nice pretty 
you know, decently priced brand. So it's not an inexpensive or cheap bronzer for sure. But this is the color that I have here. It doesn't really look as deep as bronzers that I'm used to using, but I'm definitely going to give this a shot for sure because I really want to try it out. But it's really pretty. I want to compare it to my Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer, which looks like this, just to kind of see how they compare. So this is how it compares to the ABH bronzer. So it's, mm, the ABH looks like it might be just a teeny bit deeper, but it's kind of close. It's kind of close. So yeah, it looks like my usual is a little bit deep, but this looks like it would be something nice if I just want a nice light bronze. Okay, so very, very nice. Looking forward to trying that out. And I always like getting pretty vulgar items in our box. I don't know, I like this brand. Okay, next I have here, Touch In Soul Nor No Problem <laughs> Primer. <laughs> so this is what that looks like. As you can see, it says No Problem Primer. Kind of play on words for pores, but it's a very nice size little sample here. If this is a sample, this could be a full size. You know, a lot of times we get full sizes and I think that they're samples. So this says here, create a seamless canvas for your foundation with your new Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. The light silky texture blurs pores and wrinkles, gives your skin a soft velvet feel. Green tea and collagen act as adhesives, holding on tight to your makeup for many hours of flawlessness. And this retails for $18, so that's not bad at all. Let me see, can't smell anything. Let me just go ahead and, and see uh, what this looks like. Okay, so it's just a nice white cream type primer, but it does blend in super duper fast. It feels nice and lightweight and it doesn't smell like anything to me. I don't smell anything so I'm assuming it doesn't really have a scent. Very nice. I'm very very excited to get this. I always like to try out a new primer so very very cool. Okay and I have one more item. It's the Sol de Janeiro. <laughs> Coco Cabana Cream, and this is another item that I knew we were going to be getting in our box. So I'm very excited to try this out because I do love the other cream that we got, the Bum Bum Cream <laughs> that we got before in our box. So I'm pretty excited to try this out as well. Now it says Sol de Janeiro's Coco Cabana Cream instantly transforms dry, dehydrated, irritated skin into its softest, bounciest, most luscious version of itself. It's oil in water gel cream texture kisses the body with a cocoa sugar blend of fermented sugar and nourishing coconut oil to draw, hold, and hug moisture for up to 72 hours. Deliciously scented with their Cheriosa 39 fragrance with mouthwatering notes of coconut, toasted praline, and warm vanilla latte. <laughs> Am I supposed to eat this or am I supposed to wear this, okay? Because that sure does sound like a tasty treat. Okay, so this retails for $20. So, yeah, let me go ahead and open this up because I do want to smell it and just kind of see if I like the scent just as much as I like their other cream. Oh, that smells good. I don't even have to take this little cap off. There's a little cap in there, but I could smell it already through the cap. Oh, yeah, it does. It smells really good. It does kind of smell like toasted almond to me. So I think I will really like to use this. You know what? I do just kind of want to see what the consistency is. Consistency is since it said, uh, what did it say? Oil and water consistency. So it does kind of look like a white cream. It feels very nice. Very nice. Oh, it feels very moisturizing. Seems like it is blending or just kind of sinking into my skin nicely. So, ah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, that's really just gonna make me wanna eat something delicious because that's how it smells. 
it smells like some kind of like toasted coconut or toasted almond or something it smells really good so I like it very very happy to get this so like I said you guys short and sweet that is my whole box for this month I'm actually really happy with all the products that I got I think I am going to try them all even this little eyeshadow stick I think I'm gonna go ahead and try it because I might actually really like these and I just keep giving stuff away so I think I'm gonna try this one along with my better than sex mascara my new Pore, no problem primer of course my pretty vulgar bronzer and this Sol de Janeiro cream so I'm very happy with my box this month I think I got some great items and can't wait to try them out so thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my boxy charm opening for February and I will see you on my next video toodles